Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Approximately a year ago, I reviewed the Rossi RP63. It was a new release and people were shocked because they know back in the day, Rossi was a common producer of revolvers. And then they went away for many years and then brought back in 23. And the RP63 drew a ton of attention because it has a fine reputation. It's budget price with an MSRP of 470. People were picking these up right around the mid 300s. It's a six shot 357 Magnum double action revolver with a three inch barrel, a very wide hammer spur and a very wide trigger with a rubber grip and a nice revolver. When I took this to the range on several occasions, I shot it very well. And the 357 Magnum didn't feel like 357 out of a little revolver like this. And I thought that was super cool. And many people said, hey, cool revolver, but where is the big brother, the RM66? This also was released in 23 has many of the same features, but it's a bit different above and beyond the six inch barrel. First off, it also has a very wide hammer spur, a very wide trigger, but you'll notice that the hammer moves back a little further on the frame than the RP63. And I think that's because of that rear sight that bevels past the frame a little bit. And the rear sight is serrated black. It's fully adjustable with adjustments on the right side and on the top strap. And then the front sight is serrated black. By the way, the rear sight has that field goal glockish sort of sight there. But the front sight is serrated black. It is removable. And you can put a night sight on there, a fiber optic sight if you choose. Great trigger pull. It meets many of the same expectations of revolver fans. Six shot, 357 Magnum, double action revolver. MSRP on this is 637. And a little over 500 bucks is its going rate at the gun store, which is incredibly budget price compared to the competition. How is this different? Well, obviously it has a six inch barrel. The advantage there is you're getting the full potential of the 357 Magnum out of a longer barrel. Six inches will do it. That will bring up its highest and greatest velocity, therefore making a huge impact on the target. Full, full body underlug there. A rubber grip that is a bit different. And it's a six shot. 357 Magnum. I love that wide trigger for the single action trigger pull. Right there is just so nice. And Rossi also puts the firing pin on the hammer. Why is that an advantage? Well, it's not necessarily an advantage, but those who are into history, it was very common back in the day. I think it's super cool. It is replaceable in case you bend it or break it. I have never seen that happen but I'm not here to say it will never happen, so it is replaceable if needed. It has a medium-sized frame with a full-size revolver. And so how do you know it's a medium-sized frame? It looks pretty normal for the size of the gun. Well, this is a SAR SA-38, also a 357 Magnum revolver. That is a large frame. This is a medium frame. You can see the size difference. Both six inch revolvers, both rubber grips. This one, I will tell you, is much heavier. Well, we'll let's just get it on scale and give me 30 seconds here. This is much lighter. I love that single action trigger pull. It just breaks. Now, you cannot stage the trigger at all. I can stage the trigger. I really don't do that anyhow, but I can stage it with the RP63 can't stage it with the SA-38 or the RM-66. But I want to get these on the scale to show you the difference in weight with the medium size frame. Two pounds, two and three quarters ounces. Let me go ahead and take that off. Hopefully you can see that. And then that's two pounds, two and three quarters ounces. And over here we have two pounds, 14 and a quarter ounces. So you can see there is a huge weight difference with this. Now many people may say, 
Hey, with a full-size revolver, I don't mind a weight difference because 357 Magnum, well, that's a heavy load. Well, there's no doubt about that, but based on how well the RP63 with a three inch barrel, which is much lighter handled the 357 Magnum, I'm not one bit concerned about the RM66. It has a matte stainless, all stainless steel throughout, matte finish to it. It looks cool. I think it offers a lot for the money. And hey, you know, there are revolver fans out there that don't want anything to do with the semi-autos. They say, give me a revolver all day long. Now the double action is heavy. I come over here and we'll check clear here. Also a six shot 357 Magnum double action, probably just as heavy single action. Pretty light. I have to say that's pretty light. It feels a little bit lighter than the RM 66, but good looking revolver priced right a little less than the SA 38 or SR38, I should say. A little less than that. that. That's selling for over 600 bucks. This is just over 500 bucks. So I think it's budget priced. I think it offers a lot, and I think revolver fans would love it. And you put a wood grip on there, and with that firing pin on the hammer, I think it's pretty cool. And will deliver similar, probably better, performance than the RP63 with that six inch barrel. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.